Food Festival. With Shane the Chef. <laughs> You're working hard, girls. Yeah, we're doing a food project for school. It's got to be in by tomorrow. Well, there's plenty of food inspiration here. There's Sam Spratt's fish, Mama Polenta's deli, Maggie's fruit and veg, of course, and let's not forget a certain restaurant run by a certain chef. Hmm, that's not a bad idea. We can make the project all about food from Munchington. Oh, good thinking. But think big. Why not get the whole town involved? Yes, everyone in town can have stalls showing off their wares. Oh, and we can have music and, and bunting? You mean like a food, food festival. festival? Now you're talking. And Dad, you can do a big cookery demonstration. Uh, wait. What? Yeah, I guess I could do that. Ah, there's a lot to do by tomorrow. OK, why don't I do all the decoration and posters? Good idea, and I'll organise the stalls. The Munchington Food Festival is on. How do you like my posters? This will draw the crowds. Brilliant, honey. Check out my plans for the food stalls. Mmm, they're OK, I guess. Oh, only OK? Look. I was thinking, Mama Polenta's stall could go here and Maggie's tuk-tuk there as normal. And Dad's demonstration could be in the middle. Um, I'm, I'm not sure. Well, let's get your posters up and we can talk about the plan later. Might be easier if I just make some changes. I had so many good ideas last night. Oh, did you? <laughs> Hey, Izzy, I've got those hair bales you asked for. Where do you want them? Oh, um, just there would be great. Thanks, Maggie. OK, no problem. Can you move, please, Izzy? <sighs> Did I just hear Maggie? Just the person I need to see. I'm after some inspiration for my cookery demonstration later. I want to do something unusual. Come and take your pick. I've got loads to choose from. Oh, look at these. Um. What are they, Dad? Pak Choi. You could cook them in so many ways. We're all ready to put up our stalls, honey. Here's the new plan, Izzy. You know what to do. I don't really know what was wrong with my plan. Here we go. This will look great. That's awesome. Hmm. I've been thinking. Let's move all of these stalls over to that end of the square. That end? But, honey, your new plan says this end. Well, I've changed my mind. It'll be better if we put the hay bale seats here. <sighs> Will it now? Have you put up those posters yet? I'm about to do that, actually. But first, let's get these stools moved. <sighs> Hi, Sam. You got any fresh fish for me today? I need something to go with Pak Choi. I've got some lovely turbot you might like. Oh, that one's a beauty, Sam. Ah! Sizzling dolphins. Oh. Testing. Ooh. Testing. Ooh. A one, two. Ooh. 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 Morning, Shane. Sam. Just testing out my old megaphone. I've made it extra loud. Yeah, so I can hear. Ah, JG, you've given me an idea. Mind if I borrow this? Hey. Get your turbo here. Fresh this morning. It's lovely. Well, I never. I've got some good tunes to play, Izzy. Every song's about food. Listen. There's only one finger like more than chips. A bass line a bit so I can move my hips. Brilliant, Mario. Oh, you needn't have bothered, Mario. I've already made a playlist for the festival. The malignant whalers will surely get them going. Actually, this is now totally in the wrong place. It needs to move over there. But, honey, the plan. The plan has changed. But be quick, as we haven't got long and you need to arrange the hay bales. Huh. I thought you were both organising the food festival. So did I. But, honey, it's totally taken over. It's my megaphone. But I've got to sell my fish, you see. You boys, always squabbling. Aha! This is just what I need. Olive oil! Olive oil! Ah. Yeah. Town in Tuscany. Now, look, it's my megaphone. 
But I've got to sell my turbot. Turbot! Catch your turbot! Yeah. Ah. Just a little bit further. Come on, Mario, and you, Izzy. <sighs> oh, it's all happening today. Right, I just need a few more of your delicious vegetables. Take your pick, Shane. Ooh. Fantastic! Hi, Dad. Hi, Izzy. What time will my demonstration start later? Why don't you ask Honey? She seems to be running this food festival herself. But I thought it was a team effort. It was supposed to be, but Honey's got other ideas. Maggie, I need you to move your tuk-tuk over there. But I always park it here. It's all in the plan, Maggie. Not in my plan. <gasps> Mr Mayor! Good afternoon, everyone. Oh, hello, Mr Mayor. You're just in time for our food festival. Yes, I'm here to perform the grand opening. Young Honey here asked me to do it. Another one of my brilliant ideas. Ugh. In that case, I'll begin. I prepared a short speech. <clears throat> a one I declare row. this food festival open. I... Ah, yeah. uh, there's no one here. You did tell everyone the festival was happening, didn't you? Of course. I clearly put lunchtime today on the posters. You mean these posters? Yes. Oh, no, I forgot about them. Oh, what have I done? It's what you haven't done that's the problem. No one will come if they don't know the festival is even happening. I'm sorry. I'm really, really, really sorry. Don't be so hard on yourself, honey. You just wanted the food festival to be a success. But I've been so bossy. I feel terrible. I'm sorry, Izzy. <laughs> oh, my fish are flesh. I'll have you know. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? If you're thinking what I think you're thinking, then yes! Roll up, roll up! Come to Munchington Food Festival! The Munchington Food Festival is taking place right now! Join us! Roll up, roll up! The Munchington Food Festival! I'll be there! Roll up, roll up! Quick, before it ends! Roll up, roll up! Come along! Yeah. Come, Come to Munchington Festival! These things, things are amazing! Oh, terrific turbot! Beat to it. Get down to the groove. What a brilliant festival! Well done, girls. Thanks, Mrs Singh. This is what I call teamwork. Good school project, both of you. Attention, attention! And now for the main event. Allow me to introduce... <laughs> Shane the Chef! Thank you, thank you. Gather round, everyone. Now, I want to show you what you can create from this wonderful vegetable. Pak choy. I've got peppers, Mama Polenta's olive oil, spring onions and ginger from Maggie's stall to make pak choy stir-fry. Mm. Oh, yummy. This will look great on the Shane the Chef channel. I've also got one of Sam's fresh turbot to steam with more of the pak choy. So, let's get cooking. Sam's delicious turbot steamed with pak choy, and finally a pak choy stir fry made with Mama Polenta's olive oil and Maggie's fresh vegetables. Job done! Come on, folks, tuck in. Great job, Dad. Yum. Shane, this is delicious. Something to really shout about. Uh, has anyone seen my megaphone? No. Nope. no. Sorry, JG. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh Eddie. Sounds better than Honey's music. Seriously? <laughs> Let's get cooking in Coconut Run. With Shane the Chef. Look at that! 
I have never seen a storm like this before. Dad, Dad, huh? come listen. Sid's playing calypso music. Pretty cool, eh? Ah, I like it. It's cheerful. The perfect thing to chase away the rain. Oops. I'll try that again. No. That's it. Oh, ho, ho. Brilliant! And look, the music really did chase away the rain. The sun is shining. <laughs> well, I can't take credit for that. I'm not the greatest Calypso player in the world, you know. You sound pretty good to me. You know, I was wondering what to cook for today's lunchtime special and your Calypso music has given me an idea. What's that, Dad? Coconut Calypso chicken. That sounds delicious. And, Sid, you can do the music. What a great idea. Calypso supper. Eat Calypso. Here, Calypso. Yeah. Me? Calypso? I don't know. If it was rock and roll music, definitely. But I'm a little shaky when it comes to Calypso. <laughs> well, you're the best Calypso guitar player I ever heard. Uh, Shang, I'm the only Calypso guitar player you've ever heard. Maybe if the band came to back me up, I'll text them and see if they can make it. Izzy, we're going to need coconuts. Hey, hey. Well, that's the result. The band says they can make it. They're on their way. I'd better stop practising. Oh, dear. Oh. Hi, Maya! Hi. What? Hi, Mama Polenta. Have you got any coconuts? Coco... what? A coconut? You want coconuts? Can't make coconut calypso chicken without them. Alf just drove away with a great big box of coconuts. I didn't want them, and I didn't think anybody else would, so I said, take them away, Alf. Oh, no. Come on. If we are, we might just catch him. Ooh, I'm just not getting it. No, don't stop. That sounds amazing. I don't think so. I'll keep it in wrong notes. Well, it didn't sound bad to me. Yes, yes, that's it. Hey, this is not bad. It's kind of OK. Where's he gone? Look, there he goes. Ow! 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 I'm sure he went this way. Over there. Ow! Ow! He's gone again. Ow! No, wait, he's behind us. Ow! Ow! We're never going to find him. Ow! There he goes. Look. We've almost got him. Faster, Dad. Dad, look out. <laughs> Sizzling Ow! saucepans. Oh, whoa! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. Dad. <laughs> That's Millie. Oh, better call Maggie. Maggie? Have you lost Millie? Well, we found her. I'll send you the directions so you can pick her up. Bye. Uh, we've still lost Alf, though. And the coconuts. Maybe not. Look! He's stuck behind that tree. He must have fallen over in the storm. Oh, what a bit of luck. Fantastic. Wow. Not bad. That was actually good. It wasn't perfect, but it was fun. You don't have to be perfect if you're having a good time. And when the band get here, we'll definitely have a good time. Oh, yes. But we're shame with the coconuts. <gasps> Did someone say coconuts? Ooh. Check this out. Wow. Is that one of those what's-it nuts? Coconuts. And it's got water in it. Are you sure? Yep. Try this. Thanks, Shane. Thank you. Fantastic. Tastes delicious. <sighs> A nut you can drink. Hmm. I did not expect that. And that's not its only surprise. 
This is the coconut meat. It doesn't look like meat. Well, it isn't really meat. People just call it meat. Oh, yum. But I just call it tasty. Hmm, if you say so, Shane. Right. Come on, Izzy. Let's get the food prepared. I can make coconut milk with this, and with this rice, chicken, tomatoes and spinach, we have everything we need. Come on, Izzy. Let's get cooking. There you go, job done. Coconut Calypso Chicken. Thanks for the help, Izzy. No problem, Dad. Oh, no. Sid? Huh? What's wrong, Sid? That's OK. I understand. Bye. Sorry, Shane. The band can't come. Why not? They said a tree's blocking the road. They can't get through. But that doesn't matter, Sid. You could play by yourself. You're brilliant. Oh, I don't know. It won't be the same without the band. I don't think I'm good enough on my own. Hold on there, Sid. What were you saying a minute ago? About just enjoying it? Did I say that? The music doesn't have to be perfect. Remember? It can just be fun. Hmm. I guess that's true. We did have a good time. We had a great time. Hmm. And maybe you can have a band. How? Shay, have you got any leftover coconut shells? I've got plenty. I think I know what to do with those. They just need a little tweak. A coconut kalimba. <gasps> wow. A coconut drum. Cool. Awesome. And finally, a coconut ocarina. Wow! This weird knot can do everything. But I don't know how to play a coconut. That's OK, Mario. You don't have to be perfect. You just have to have fun. Let's take this party down to the beach and have a real luau. Yeah. Great idea. But what's a luau? <laughs> Yum. Shane, what do you call this dish? Coconut Calypso chicken. Shane style. I love it. It's so good, it makes me want to dance. Whoa! Oh, come on, Shane! Oh, uh, oh. uh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> well, hey. That's oh. brilliant, that is. Go, Shane. Here we go. Oops. Sorry, everyone. Oops. Sorry. Oops. Oops! Sorry! Don't worry, everyone. Just have fun. Woo, Brilliant! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Marvin's Marvellous Mangoes. With Shane the Chef. Here it is. A lovely salad. Tasty and delicious. Everybody ready? Oh. Oh. Almost ready. Why is it so quiet in here? It's not quiet out there. Look. And the scientific name for this magnificent specimen oh, is wow. Magnifera indica, otherwise known as the Mighty Mango. Amazing. Wow. Hey, what's going on? It's Marvin. Uh, and my magnificent mangoes. Mango? That's a fruit, right? 
That's right, Mario. A fruit. But so much more. This mango is loaded with vitamins, minerals... And antioxidants. Anti-what? Yeah, stuff that's good for you. Why didn't he just say that? Well, some chefs like to overcomplicate things. <laughs> ah, there you go. <laughs> now, that's what I call the real skill. Wow. Absolutely wow. And it tastes delicious. Mmm, tasty. <laughs> Ooh, hello, Marvin. I'm Shane. That's my restaurant over there. Fresh. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you, Shaney boy. Whoops. Whoop. Ah. <laughs> there you go. Ooh, wow. Amazing. Neat trick. Yeah, I do a spinny thing like that with my spoon. Watch. Oh. <laughs> Whoops, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bear with me. Whoa. Oh, no. <laughs> Just dropped it again. Silly me. Butterfingers. Whoa, best of three. Here we go. Whee! Ta-da! <laughs> Oh, where's he gone? Right, three mangoes Amazing. up in the air. Now, that's what I call real skill. Uh, Shane, what are you thinking? I'm thinking I know a thing or two about mangoes. <laughs> Marvin might put on a good show, but look what I've got. Mangoes from the deli, milk from Maggie's cow, and some good old-fashioned Shane the Chef know-how. You know what that adds up to? What? Delicious mango ice cream, my friend. Ice cream? Great, but won't it take ages to freeze? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> yes, of course. What you need is one of my amazing inventions. I'll be right back. And now, ladies and gentlemen, feast your eyes on this high-tech gadget. A state-of-the-art compressor, a vacuum port, and a digital thermometer. This little baby is a chef's best friend. <laughs> wow. Dad! Just whisking up some ice cream for the crowd outside. But isn't that going to take a long time? Not if we use this. It just needs a little tweak. And it's a lean, mean ice cream machine. Yeah, but how fast will it freeze? You know your gadgets don't always... I'll see you later, Shane. Work. The compressor goes whoosh. And through the miracle of science... Hey, everybody, come on in. Shane's serving up some fantastic mango ice cream. Oh, awesome. Yummy. Huh? Mango ice cream, eh? Mm. OK, everybody, gather round. Look at this mango. Hmm, so fresh. Now, just pour the ingredients in here. You have tested this, haven't you, JG? It'll be fine, Shane. Uh, is it supposed to do that? It'll be fine, Abby. Ah! Ah! Sizzling saucepans! Oh, yeah. I don't no. think it was supposed to do that. Uh, sorry. Um, this should cheer you up. Oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> sorry. Uh, it's Marvin. Sorry, Shane. Here we go. Sorry, Shane. Sorry, Dad. <sighs> Oh. Wow! Liquid nitrogen, my friends. Cooling these mango slices to a temperature of minus 196 degrees Celsius. That's cold, right? Super cold. Super, super cold. Super mega scientifically cold. <laughs> Don't try this at home, kids. Coconut milk. Vanilla and, of course, marvellous mango! <laughs> Liquid nitrogen is so cold, within seconds we have... Mango ice cream! <laughs> that is the best mango ice cream I've ever tasted. That's the only mango ice cream you've tasted. <laughs> Yum! Oh. Mmm, oh. Shane. I think your mango ice cream's wonderful. It's not as popular as Marvin's. <laughs> mm. oh, Marvin! Uh. Oh, poor Shane. Oh, you always make me look so good. Oh, no! Well, I think this is good ice cream. It's great ice cream. Not as great as liquid nitrogen and big wishy clouds of steam. You don't need wishy clouds of steam, Dad. You're just, um, you know, you. And that's good enough. Yeah. <sighs>
Shane, you listen to Mama. You are the chef who needs no wash. Everybody loves you. And why? Because you are like a big, strong tomato. Huh? Tomatoes come from the dirt, yes? Dirty tomatoes. But put them on a pizza and everyone cheers! Hooray for the tomato! And that's you, Shane. Shane the tomato! <laughs> and don't you ever forget it. Mama, you're right. She is? She is. I'm a tomato. And tomatoes don't quit. Right, Mama Polenta? The tomato never quits. I'm going to go out there and offer to help Marvin. And maybe I can learn some new tricks along the way. Hey, Marvin, you've probably got a lot of hungry, excited customers coming your way. So, can I give you a hand? You want to help me? Yeah, sure. And maybe you can teach me a few new tricks. Do you know how to fix a liquid nitrogen machine? That would be a good trick. Um, no. Didn't think so. Bye. What are you doing? I'm leaving town, mate. Wait, Marvin, you can't leave. Sorry, but my machine's broken. And without my machine, I can't give people what they want. You can make other stuff with mangoes, can't you? Well, uh, yeah. I mean, no. I mean, mango ice cream's really my speciality. Anyway, it's the machinery and the show that draws a crowd. Marvin, you're wrong. It's the food that draws the crowd, and great food is what keeps people coming back for more. Have you ever tried Mango Salad Supreme? Uh, no. OK, so I use the mangoes. Yeah? I also use lettuce, avocado. OK. Mint. Ah, oh, mint. Grilled prawns. Seriously? And peanuts. Peanuts? Shay, you're a genius. Nuts. I love it. Want to give it a try? I certainly do. Then, let's get cooking! Mango Salad Supreme. Wow, Shane. I'm impressed. Brilliant. <laughs> yum. Definitely yum. Mango is my new favourite thing. Ooh, I am so proud of my tomato. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Mama Polenta. This salad is mango-tastic. And, by the way, I hope you don't mind, but a bolt was loose on your compressor, so I tightened it. Should work fine now. Thanks, JG. Cheers, mate. Hey, everyone, we're back in business. Look at that. Amazing. Who wants ice cream? Woohoo! Thanks, Shane. You taught me something today. Even without my gadgets, that was one of the best meals I ever made. You come back and visit sometime. You know what? I will. And here, some liquid nitrogen. You never know. Oh, uh, th thanks. Goodbye, Shay. Bye, Marvin. I think you've made a new friend, Dad. Yeah. I think I have, is he? I think I have. Brilliant burgers. With Shay the Chef. Hi, Mama Polenta. Buongiorno, Shane and Izzy. Good morning, Mama Polenta. Oh, that coffee smells amazing. I'm trying out some new coffee beans from Colombia. <laughs> Would you like to try some? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> I'll need some minced beef too, please. I'm making burgers for Maggie's big barbecue later. That sounds tasty. <laughs> oh, and I need some burger buns. Here's your minced beef. The burger buns are just there. Hi, Izzy. Are you coming down to the farm to check out Maggie's new barbecue? Can I, Dad? Yes, no problem. I've got the burgers in hand. Maybe you could help with a salad at Maggie's later. Yes, sure. Thanks, Dad. See you later. Bye. 
<laughs> Always in a hurry. <laughs> Here you go, Shane. Thank you. Mmm, mmm, this coffee is delicious. Hey, what are you going to do with all those used coffee grounds? Oh, Maggie asked me to save them for her. I don't know why. So, what do you think? Mm. Ah, fantastic. Right, I've got to set and light the barbecue now. Oh, I could do that for you. And me? Oh, thanks. Well, if you're sure, I'll go and pick the rest of the salad. Great! Well, that's brilliant, that is. Right, let's get those burgers made. Grab the mince, chop the spring onions and mix. Oh, it's not even lit yet. Don't worry, we've got it under control. Plenty of oak to get the fire going. No, we need hickory wood for flavour. Applewood is good too. Good thinking. Ugh, this could take a while. Let's play sardines while we wait. Sardines? Yes. I'll hide and then you come and look for me. If you find me, you hide with me too. Yeah. Uh, maybe later. Oh, OK then. This is where it goes. No, it needs to go here. Actually, I think it needs to be like this. No, I'd do it like this. Oh, <sighs> Sardines? Definitely. Oh, I'll hide first. You count. OK. No, you're doing it. Come on, Jay. Let me show you how it's done. Whoa. Yes. How about some lettuce, Eddie? Hi, Maggie. We're playing sardines. I need to hide. Any ideas? Oh, I don't know. Maybe behind the pig pen? <laughs> OK, thanks. And that's the last burger. Whoa, OK. <laughs> I think that should be enough. Ta-da! Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> thanks for all your hard work. But, um, oh, don't you think it's a bit big? Oh, I see what you mean. After all, we don't want to burn Shane's beautiful burgers. <laughs> but we can keep it, can't we? <sighs> OK, we'll take it down a bit. I told you it was too big. No, Eddie! Clear off! You give my hiding place away! <sighs> I'll have to find somewhere else to hide now. Hello, everyone! Oh, bravo! The barbecue looks fantastic! Maggie, here's some more of the coffee grounds you asked for. Oh, brilliant! Thanks, Mama Polenta. Tell me, Maggie, I'm curious. What are you using them for? Come on, I'll show you. Look, in here. I've been using your coffee grounds to grow these. Oh, Mamma mia! Oyster mushrooms! Yep, I read that you can grow them using coffee grounds. And it's worked a treat. <laughs> oh, well, I never! I know. <laughs> Come on, let's go and see if the barbecue's ready. Oh, I must remember to oil these hinges. The door keeps sticking. <laughs> I'll prop it open. OK, let's go. Aha! Perfect. 98, 99, 100. Mario, we're coming to find you. Oh. Whoa. No, he's not here. Not here. Seriously? Huh? Uh, there you are. Shh, quickly, get in. What's that? Shh. Hmm. Got you! Aww. Polly, you've got to hide as well. <laughs> I can hear you. Found you. Whoa, 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 Eddie, whoa, come whoa, on, whoa, down, whoa, Eddie, whoa, whoa, down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hiya. <laughs> Want me to help with the salad, Maggie? Of course. It's all here, freshly picked. Great. Let's get started. <laughs> it won't budge. Look, a torch. Oh, my gosh. Uh, wow, what are those? Aliens! Monsters! Don't panic. 
I think they're oyster mushrooms. I don't care what they are. I just want to get out of here. It smells moldy. Let us out! There we go. Great barbecue temperature. That'll be the hickory wood. Don't you mean oak? Help! Get us out of here! I'm starving! Shh. Listen, did you hear that? I think it was Eddie. Eddie? Eddie! <laughs> Has anyone seen a Mario? I can't find him. It's not like him to Miss Shane's burgers. And is he? Oh, now that you mention it, where's Eddie? Sizzling saucepans and the burgers have gone. <gasps> no burgers? Ah, something strange is going on. Let's find the kids first. Hmm. All right. Mario! Jane! Honey! Where are you? Is he? Oh, Boy. no. Any luck? No. Sorry. Ah, how did a burger get there? Oh, I think I might know the culprit. Oh, here's another one. Quick, follow them. <coughs> I knew it. It's my Eddie. He loves burgers. But where is Mario? Thank you for rescuing us, Dad. Yes. Thanks, Shane. <laughs> well, don't thank me. Thank Eddie. <coughs> Thanks, Eddie. Have we missed a barbecue? Oh, I'm sorry, Mario. There's no burgers left. <gasps> Eddie may have spoiled the barbecue by taking the burgers, but he saved the day by rescuing the children. What were you all doing in there, anyway? Playing sardines. Wow! Oyster mushrooms. Maybe there is a way we can have burgers after all. So, we have the mushrooms, the breadcrumbs, the onions, herbs and eggs. Are you ready, Izzy? Let's, Let's get, get cooking. cooking. Mushroom burgers all round. Tuck in. Mm. 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 Yummy. I'm not sure about this. Um, um. Not bad. Mm. Not bad at all. Shane, have you got another? Two is rather a lot, though, Mario. <laughs> it's not for me. It's for my rescue dog. Here you go. Here you go, Eddie. <laughs> Mind you, I think Eddie's had plenty of burgers today. <laughs> <laughs> Vegetables, ahoy! With Shane the Chef! Wow! Ah, oh, Izzy! Didn't see you there. Looks good enough to eat. Izzy's right, Shane. That's a good-looking fish. Tonight's special, Sam. Barbecued mackerel and vegetable kebabs. That's only if you, um, up anchor and catch me some fish. I'll up anchor, all right. Once I've got me ice, I need it for the fish. I'll get it. <laughs> Hi, Mackie. Hey. Morning, Shane. Hi, Sam. I've got today's delivery. Ah, great stuff. I'm making veggie kebabs. Oh, yum! I've got peppers, onions and tomatoes. Perfect for your veggie kebabs. Thanks, Maggie. Gotta go. More deliveries to make. See ya. Bye. Come on, Sam. Let's get you iced and away. There's a good boy, Eddie. You wait here. Thanks, Izzy. Ice for Sam, veg for me. I'll lay the tables. Mm. 
Your ice is on the counter, Sam. Thanks, Izzy. And to make this fish really tasty, we need thyme. Excellent. That's a herb that goes brilliantly with fresh fish. Oh, yes. Basin, I'll be back with your fresh fish before you know it. Oh, bye, Sam. See you later, Izzy. I'll see if Eddie and me can't catch something that looks as good as your dad's drawing. <laughs> Bye, Sam. Dad, I need another tablecloth. Oh, OK, well, I'll grab you one. Oh, no. Sam's left his phone behind. Uh, Izzy, <laughs> where'd she go? Sam! 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 No, no, no. No, no. You forgot your phone. <sighs> Morning, Izzy. Morning. Oh, no. Huh? Sizzling saucepans. What's the matter? Sam's taken the wrong box. I've got his ice and he's got my vegetables. Call him up and tell him. We can't. He left his phone behind, and he's already out at sea. Well, I can wait for the fish, but the vegetables do take some time to prepare. Ah, oh, what are we going to do? Let's try and get his attention from the lighthouse. Good idea, JG. Hmm, where is he? I can't see him. Oh, me neither. Oh. There he is. Sam! Sam! Come back! You got my vegetables! La la la, la la la. Sam! Over here! La la la. Yes! Sam! Sam! La 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 la. Sam! 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 <sighs> it's not working. Hmm, maybe we need to try something else. But what? Ah, there are other ways to send messages. Flags, for example. Flags? flags? Yes, flags. It was a way of sending messages to ships in the old days. But have we got any flags? Eh, uh, no. Ugh. Ah, hmm. oh, what am I going to do? Hmm. We don't have any flags, but we do have a big red and white tablecloth. Hey ho, the nets do go over the side and down below. Hey ho, into the sea, bring some fish back to me. <gasps> Sam! Sam! Over here! Come Sam! Sam! What's that flapping at the lighthouse? Yes, now, 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 high as you can, yes, and, and wave slowly. Oh, that's it. Um. Uh. By Jove, I think he's seen the flag. Amazing. Uh, a red and white checked flag. What does that mean, Eddie? Uh. Uh. I'll give him a call. Uh. Uh. <gasps> Eddie. You seen my phone? I I can't hear you. Right. He knows we're trying to tell him something. Hold up the box as high as you can. Why are they waving a box at me, Eddie? What is it, Eddie? My box of ice? What about it? Take the lid off! Reckon they want me to look inside this box, Eddie. <coughs> oh. Well, that's funny looking ice. <coughs> Sizzling saucepans. Has he got the message, JG? I really need my vegetables or they won't be ready in time. Don't panic, Shay. 
Right, Eddie. We'd better get the catch in quick, then go and sort this mess out. Ah, oh, he's got the message. Ah, oh, phew. That is good news. Woo, that's great. And a net full of mackerel. Wonderful. Fantastic. Oh, I am looking forward to the barbecue. Me too. I'm starving. <gasps> There's nothing cooking, Mama. Where's the food? Don't worry. It's on its way. Look. Oh, Eddie. Boy. Oh, here's your veg, Shane. Sorry about that. Not to worry, Sam. How did they get there? Oh, it's a long story. Shane? Hey. Hello, Shane. Hey. Are we too early? Actually, you're just in time. Make way for the mackerel! <laughs> <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, the fish and vegetables aren't quite ready. Oh. Oh. But they are fresh. And that means I can show you how we cook a Mediterranean barbecue. <laughs> yes. So, let's get cooking. Fish is ready. Who's hungry? Yes, please. Oh, this is delicious, Shane. <laughs> oh, is he? Have you got that, um, special dish we cooked up for Sam. <laughs> there you are. Ta-da! My phone! How did it get there? You left it in the kitchen. Now we can call you when you're out at sea. Mind you, I rather like the old checkered flag waving. Very dramatic. I think we've had quite enough drama for one day, thanks, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Dancing under the stars. With Shane the Chef. One, two, and the cha cha cha. One, two, cha cha cha. Ouch! Oh, sorry, Mama Polenta. Oh, that's okay, Shane. Yesterday you stepped on my toes 20 times. Today, only five. It's an improvement, I guess. But I don't think I'll be good enough in time for tonight's dinner dance. <sighs> of course you will. You just need to practice. Oh, thank you so much, Mama Polenta. It's really kind of you to get up so early to give me dance lessons. Oh, it's my pleasure, Shane. And remember, the cha-cha-cha is all about the South American Latin rhythm. All about the Latin rhythm, eh? OK. One, two, cha cha cha. One, two, cha cha cha. Boop a dee, choo, cha cha cha. Step, step, cha cha. Step, step, cha cha cha. Yes, I got this. One, two, cha cha. Whoa! Right, oh, ugh. that's embarrassing. I'd better get the lunch ready. Thanks for your help, Izzy. No problem, Dad. Have you checked out the town hall kitchen? Don't worry. It's almost as well equipped as ours. I've cooked in it before and I've got the menu for the dinner dance all worked out. Just checking, Dad. You go and have a great afternoon at school. Bye. 
Right, let's give that dance another try. One, two, cha cha cha. One, two, cha cha cha. One, two. Ah! The wall! Ah! Sizzling saucepan! Ooh, got away with that. Right, let's get the fish for tonight from Sam. Oh, hey there, Shane. Look at this lovely lot. Sea bus, pollock, good meaty white fish. Mm. That's good news, because I have planned a seafood feast for everyone at the dance. Yeah. Jolly! <laughs> Oh, Jolly! Oh, no! Hey, come back here, you! There's a proper mess in there, and no mistake. Oh, and the kitchen is completely wrecked. But everything was set up in there for the dinner dance tonight. Oh, what are we going to do? I was so looking forward to the dance. <gasps> well, why don't we hold it in the town square? We can build the dance floor here. Yeah. Rig up a sound system. You could use mine. And I'll cook the food in my kitchen. Woohoo! Problem solved. <laughs> mm -mm. I'm afraid that won't be possible. Who's that? Ah, uh, that would be Mr Barker, the building safety inspector from the council. I'm afraid I'm going to have to turn off the gas to all the buildings in the market square. We need to ensure that none of the pipes have been damaged. Oh, oh no! How are we supposed to cook the food now? Don't worry, Izzy. I'll think of something. I hope. Just needs a tweak. That's a. Ha! Okay, Mario, give it a go. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> <sighs> oh, no. What am I going to do? Not along now, Shane. <laughs> oh, what's the matter? To be honest, I'm not sure how I'm going to make a dinner for everyone without any gas. Oh, Shane, I am sure you will come up with something. <laughs> How about some more dance lessons to take your mind off things? <laughs> Thanks, Mama Polenta. That'll really help. <sighs> it's finished. Great. I'll go and tell Dad. Oh, one, two, a cha cha cha. Oh, one, a two, a cha cha cha. Ouch! Oh, dear. Oh, no, I thought I was getting the hang of it. Don't you worry, Shane. Just keep it simple. That's it. I know what to cook for the dance. Mama Polenta, you're a genius. Am I? Oh, Shane. <laughs> Dad, the dance floor's finished. Oh, that's great. I'm going to move the seafood feast outdoors onto the barbecue. Great. Let's get cooking. <laughs>
wrapped the grilled fish with the yummy peach salsa. Delicious. Here you go, JG. I say, the tortillas, like a plate and a wrapper, all in one. <laughs> Ingenious. Wow, it looks like everyone's enjoying the dancing. Cha, cha, cha. Oh, and the two, and the cha, cha, cha. One, two, cha, cha, cha. One foot, two foot, one foot, oh. two foot. Ah, wow. oh, one, one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sid. Oh. Izzy, where are you going? Yay! Oh, <laughs> magic that. Oof! Oh, mamma mia! <laughs> oh, that Sam is a devil on the dance floor! <laughs> mamma Polenta, you really should try Shane's dish. <gasps> Delicious! Grilled fish tortillas with salsa. It's from South America. I was inspired by the rhythm of the cha-cha-cha. Speaking of the cha-cha-cha, Shane, I see Maggie isn't dancing with anyone. Ah, uh, no. I don't, well, I don't know. <laughs> Someone's got to serve the food. I can do that, Dad. Oh, uh, well, thank you, Izzy. But, um, well, you'll... Well, I... I Oh, hang on. Who's keeping an eye on the sound system? I'm on that, Shane. Well, I mean, come on. What about rearranging the chairs? Oh, we've all got it covered, Shane. So no more excuses. Uh, OK. Uh, hiya. Uh, Maggie, hi. Sorry. I was, uh, I was thinking... I'm, I'm, well, I mean, I mean, I was, I was more wondering if, if you would care to, uh... Shane, I'd love to. <laughs> oh, go on, Dad. <laughs> Dad was such a good dancer. Well, he did have a very good teacher. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> My foot. Oh, sorry, Shane. <laughs> Don't worry. Take it from me, it takes practice. 